All right, class, uh, picking up from the previous lesson, uh, timing and spacing, uh, principles of animation. Now we're going to do the follow through and um, overlapping action. All right, so let's kind of preview this one. It, ha uh, it has a um, east in, east out, okay, based on the timing and spacing. And we're going to be using a modifier called simple deform. And it's a multi-modifier. Uh, uh, it has taper twist, but we want the bend in there, okay? So let's take a look. I'm going to zoom in on this guy right here. And if you are uh, starting the file and it looked like this, you might want to change it to uh, material preview, the third one right there, or the final render report, all right? Okay, so uh, let's apply the deform on the Campbell soup, all right? So and we go to the uh, modifier panel right here, modifier uh, property, okay? And, oh, I already have two in there. So what you need to do is delete those that are applied. So the file that I supplied, I forgot to delete those. So make sure you click X. So let me click undo not to do that. So just click X on the uh, bend center and then the bend bottom right there. All right. Okay, so it's clean, there's nothing in there. So we're gonna apply a simple deform. And uh, it defaulting as 45 degrees already, we want the bend, as you can see here, it's not bending. This is the side viewport. It's trying to bend, but it can't bend because we need to correct topology here, okay? So the reason why we can't bend this Campbell soup is that it does not have any horizontal cut, so. It's meant as a model, it's not meant for animation, okay? So let's just kind of delete this for now, okay? And let's prepare the uh, can. So this should be really simple. You need to go to edit mode, okay? And then control R, okay? For the edge loop cut, control R. But before I do that, let me turn on my screencast. Okay, so re it reactivates, okay? Control R, position your mouse in any of those vertical cuts right there, and then scroll your mouse until you get, um, I'm trying to make my division almost equal in kind of size right there, okay? Uh, we could do more, but I think we can stop right here. So scroll your mouse until you get, um, uh, that much right there and I'll look at the number after, okay? So I can precisely tell you. So here, uh, it wants you to position where those cuts are. We want them exactly in the middle. So while it's doing this, moving your mouse, left click to cancel the movement and you retain this. So let's go to loop cut here. And then it says here I have 13 loop cuts, okay? So 13 loop cuts should be plenty, okay? So I'm gonna go to object mode, all right? Let's apply that simple deform again. Okay, switch it to bend. As you can see, it's doing its bend right here, so along the x-axis. So it's bending it here, like uh, on the x-axis. So if you apply more, of course, you get the opposite bend, you go negative. All right, so if we go to Y, it's trying to bend it on the y-axis. And of course, Z is gonna be weird because it's trying to bend it from the top. All right, so we're not gonna say X and Y is where we're gonna be more useful. So let's go with the Y axis here and let's go with 45 for now so we can have a preview. Okay, so um, we are not using any uh, helpers yet. We're not, haven't done parenting. So let's try and make this one work uh, with what we have. So let's open restrictions, okay? So the, we have limits here, the upper and the lower, okay? So zero and one. So if I go here and then give it a 0.5 value, and as you can see, the, uh, it only bends from half, which is 0.5, only the upper part is bending. So this, we should be able to uh, kind of, it's a little wobbly on that side. Let's take a look. Uh, all right, let's 
pushing it a little bit, but at least uh, we don't need to create any armature. It should just uh, bend the top, okay? If we go zero here, however, and then let's go on a bend right here. If we move this one and change it to 0.5, as you can see, now you're bending the bottom. So that's basically what it is, okay? So we're going to go 0.5 at the top, one at the bottom, okay? Then we can animate. And this is your animate button uh, for your angle degree right there, okay? So we can click that and do our four parts again, okay? So let's add that particular feature, okay? So let me go to layout on this one, okay? And we're gonna go here, preview it, and then zoom in here because we can uh, maximize this one here. Let's give the uh, uh, dope sheet. Let's change it to uh, dope sheet right here. And where were we on the uh, graph editor? Okay. Let's go to the graph editor here. So we can tell that it's slow in, slow out. Um, let's see, what else we need? Uh, let's go back here, sorry. Let's go to animation so that even though it's, um, uh, we're seeing left and right, because I want you to see what's happening left and right, we'll just zoom out here, okay? And then we'll turn off the sidebar here. We'll put it here, press N here, so that we can keyframe here, see all the space right here. And then this one, you can drag this one. We can minimize the camera right there and zoom out. Okay, so now we are positioned. Let's see, zoom out. I just want to make sure that I can see the Campbell soup. Oops, sorry. Tilde front, okay. Okay, I'm going to drag it or use this hand tool right here to drag. I just want to make sure I could see 1 to 24 what's happening. Okay, so we'll start with no bend angle. Okay, so we just want this thing kind of sliding like this and we want to add some, uh, not secondary action, so don't get confused. Secondary action is not, it's mostly it's not the motion, it's not animation, it's more like behavioral. Um, uh, action okay um, what we want here is to follow through and overlapping so when this guy moves left to right of your screen of course uh, we want it to kind of have a drag a little bit right so we want that upper part to kind of bend that way okay so at frame one there is no angle okay so remember the four parts right Select your object, position the time, do the transform. This time we're not doing transform. We already did from the previous animation. We are doing parameters, which is angle, and then keyframe the animation, right? So we got the first part, it's selected. Second part is position the time, it is, okay? We have position the time. And then uh, third is that uh, transform or parameters. We want zero bend at the beginning. So here we're going to Keyframe it, click this one, okay? Don't do any bend, zero degree on the bend. And then that's part four, which is the keyframing part. So zero is the value, that's part three, and then part four is clicking that keyframe button, okay? So next, so once this goes right here, it's pretty slow here, and we want it to kind of have that bend, most likely, let's say around frame 10, okay? So I have the object selected, I move the time on frame 10, uh, give it transform value or parameter. This time here it's the bend. So we want to give it that kind of bend right there. Uh, I went with minus, let's go minus 45. So it started 45 degree. Why not, right? And part four, keyframe it. So let's take a look. So remember on frame one, no bend. So it goes, all right. It goes like so. Then it goes all the way there. Okay, and it reaches 24, that's when it uh, kind of slows down. So let's watch our animation. All right. All right, so let's edit this one. I think 10 is a little too early. So I'm going to select 10 right here, and then I'm going to press G or saying grab and move that. Let's say it, I want that on frame 12 instead of, uh, so exactly halfway is where the bend 
kind of happens. All right, I like that better. So it goes that way. So now overlapping action. So whenever it comes to a full stop, what's going to happen to the band? It's most likely going to sway the, the other way, correct? So here uh, we can uh, keep the, uh, that band, let's say, till uh, frame 20. Okay, let's see. Frame 20. We want that 45 degree band to remain. Okay, so I'm going to keyframe it here. Frame 20. So we got another one. So there's basically no activity here. 12 to 20, keeping the 45 degree angle, minus 45, sorry. And then so when it stops on 20 to 24, we want to keep that, uh, make that zero, basically get rid of the band. Okay. So when it comes to a full stop on 20, get rid of the band, keyframe it. All right. We're not done yet, but let's watch it. All right. So uh, it's done with that band on the top right there okay so now we can do some uh, the follow through overlapping action is that when it comes to a full stop okay nothing really comes to a full stop so we want to kind of continue on that one so let's say so it takes uh 20 24 to kind of stop so we can make this one maybe a uh, frame up to frame 27 let's give it a value so let's bend it that Okay, less than 40, uh, 45, I'll go at 40, okay? All right, and then basically we're just kind of springing it back and forth. And then we go, let's say here, frame uh, 29, we go the other way slightly past that. So I'm gonna go minus 15, keyframe it. And then frame 30, we set it to zero. Okay, so, and keyframe, I'm gonna watch our animation, so it has that a little bit of follow over there, making the can very jello-ish. It's like what you would expect uh, at the inside of the can. Um, if it's cold, you know, that soup is like sleeping. There you go. All right, so we can change our timing here. Uh, we could, uh, let's say, um, uh, on frame 27, this is all the uh, bending, correct? So we can make that uh, a little faster, okay? 26 and then 29, 28. This makes it a little bit even, but it's a fast motion. Let's see if that looks better. All right. That's not actually bad. The other one probably has better timing, but uh, this one works as well because we're just kind of changing it to 30 frames, okay? So here, uh, continuing from the previous lesson, so we have our timing, which is 1 and 24. Our spacing, which we left here as slow in and slow out, okay? So it's like going to your graph editor, okay? And then that was the X, okay, remember? So if I go here, object transform, we're just looking at location X, all right? You don't wanna see the other ones right here, uh, the angle deform, so I'm gonna turn that off. There's the I icon right there, so it doesn't confuse us. Remember, make sure this is set to select both, press V as in victory, set, change it to automatic in case you've been you've been playing with it like changing it to vector see let's see changing it to vector which makes it constant let's see if those uh, follow through animation would uh you know they're not going to look as good because it's constant okay however it's a short animation it still could work okay it's just that here it's constant speed okay you want to change those for now press v automatic this gives us that slow beginning constant slow end which should complement with the overlapping action and follow through okay and we added also the simple deform bend modifier with limits right here at the upper part so 0.5 instead of zero okay so and then we're going to continue on with our animation uh leading to adding a parent and a uh, a helper to this so we can start with our homework